Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> Do you ever, um, like when you're talking to Justin and, or not even when you're talking to Justin, like you'd be in the car driving and all of a sudden you just blurt something out and he's like, where in the world did that even come from? Oh, all and the you time. explain, well, I saw this and it made me think of this, which then made me think of that. And, and then, then it reminded like, me of that. And then, so I said this and then you get on this whole other conversation and they're like, what? All the time. Yeah. My brain is always, <laughs> always going, constant. See, it's not just me. I I get so mad at Brady sometimes because he'll lay down and he's asleep in two seconds. Oh. Flat. I'm like, man, I wish. My brain does not shut off. It takes forever. I'll close my eyes and then I'll still be thinking about all the things. The way that he can take a nap. Oh, Brady can too. I don't, I don't nap. If I nap, I'm either so beyond tired or I'm sick. Yeah. No, I only napped when I was pregnant. This is good content. We should have already started. <laughs> yeah, hey, we can use it anyways. That's okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Cool. Hi, welcome to MomSense. I'm Kylie. And I'm Cambria. Today, we're going to talk about disciplining our kids. Uh, so right now, Xander has entered into a new phase that I was not quite prepared for. Because uh, I thought, my child is always going to be this perfect little angel. My child would never. There's no <laughs> way. Where did he pick this up from? He started hitting and biting. Oh. And we're not, we're like, I'd say we're not even a year old. We'll be a year on Monday. Oh, my gosh. I know. I know and then Jet will be four on Thursday. Holy cow. Oh, uh, yeah. Where's the time gone? So... We have, you know, done the very stern no, put him down, because he doesn't hit Brady or by Brady. Why? I don't know. He only does it to me. And then I asked school about it, and they're like, yeah, he's doing it to his friends, um, especially, I guess, when they're eating. If they're, like, sit, they have this, like, little table. They all sit, these little chairs, yeah. and they sit in. And I guess at the table, he'll just reach over and yank his little girlfriend next to him's ponytail. I'm like, <laughs> you bully. Um, so we've done the stern nose. We've done the like remove ourselves from the situation. We've done the ignore it. I have swatted his bottom. I have swatted his hands, which both of those things feel like I'm telling you not to hit and then I'm hitting you. Also, he laughs at me, so that doesn't get his attention yeah. to begin with. Um, any advice? Honestly, it's it's rough out there. Him and Oakley are only a couple months apart, and I will say, I mean, every child is different. Kinsey was, I didn't have to tell her no more than once. She was the best little baby. Um, toddler, like, oh my gosh, would listen, was respectful. Um, literally, I just had to, <laughs> literally, I just had to say no now. Jet, on the other hand, Jet's a little like uh, Xander. Uh, he thinks this morning he was doing something, and I said, no, 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 and he repeated it back to me. Jet has been lately, Oakley's doing the no, no, no thing, too. I'll tell her it's time for bed. She's like, no, it's not. <laughs> and I, she's going to be my spitfire. And so it's funny seeing, you know, how kids' personalities are different. You know, with three, I've seen, you know, the good, the, we're not going to call Jet bad, and we're not going to call Oakley ugly, but may, you know, the good, the bad, we and the get, ugly. We get it. Of it all. And so, Jet doesn't like, Jet is uh, strong-willed. Xander is too. So, I was going to say, it sounds like Xander's about the same. And Homie you know, has his mind on whatever it is that he wants to do, and he will fight you oh, to do it. That is Jet. He will is fight Is Brady that you. way? Because Justin's that way. And, oh, my gosh, they're like copy yes paste. Yes and no. Brady is hard-headed, but in different in a different sense. I'm probably more, I'm probably more on the hard-headed side than Brady is. Um, we just have our differing yeah. moments. Yeah. What's so funny to me is, like, both of our parents will tell you. Brady and I both were incredibly good children, like, very much rule followers, chill kids, didn't have to tell us no very often. We just did what we were told. Yeah. Also, we didn't break the rules to begin with, so nobody had to tell us, tell us no anyways. Uh, so 
both of us as children were just very chill. Yeah. Our son is not that. Uh, my jet is not. My Oakley is not either. And you know what? You got to pray a lot. <laughs> yeah. Don't pay for patience, though. Pray for wisdom. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's just been, it's a learning process with every kid in every stage right now. Disciplining Kenzie is super not fun. It's yeah. super weird. It's like, oh, you're grounded. I'm going to take your phone. But I actually need you to have your phone because I have to get a hold of you for this. And there's just so many different levels it changes so much it does change so much and disciplining a strong-willed child so jet is very much like xander whenever he wants something he wants it now but justin is that way justin will have his mind set on something and you're not changing his mind yeah he is a hundred percent whatever he's doing he's going full force yep jet's the same way he'll have his mind on he wants a certain tool out of Justin's toolbox. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, baby, we can't have that tool. If Oakley bites it, her teeth are going to fall out. <laughs> Mommy, I want it. But I want it. But I want it. But I want it. But I want it. And he doesn't forget. Oh, my gosh. Xander doesn't either. Mm-hmm. I will physically pick him up, remove him from the room, or, like, he's obsessed with the trash can for whatever reason. I will... Put the trash can in the pantry. He will go to the pantry and sit and bang at the pantry door. And as soon as that pantry door opens, he's yep. bolting to that door. It could be two hours later. You would think he's off playing. He forgot about the trash can. Nope. He did not. He wants to get in that trash can. Why? I have no idea. But whatever it is, his mind is set on it, and he wants to do it. Yeah. Uh, we got a new couch, and it sits flush up against the wall. And so we have blinds right behind the couch and of course now he's standing there at perfect level he wants to mess with the blinds play with them put him down put him down put him down put him down he's freaking out now he's hitting now he's screaming because he's mad and he's crying so okay let's go to our bedroom let's not be in the living room let's go to our bedroom and play and then a little while later you go back to the living room and he's back at it yeah it does not matter if he's if his mind is set on it. So one thing you said, which I've always been like, I believe in spankings. You got to spank your kids. And I will say what you mentioned. How do you teach him not to hit whenever you're hitting um, and that he wasn't quite getting it? So now just about to be four spankings. He didn't care. Yeah, my brother didn't care about spankings. Does not care. You can spank him over and over and he's still going to do it. And just like you said, he's he doesn't do that to Brady. Jet doesn't do it to Justin. For whatever random reason, we just have this lovely job as mom. Yes, there's this connection. <clears throat> yes. And, you know, he doesn't do it with Justin. and I don't understand it. And then Justin's also a lot more patient than I am, which God bless him for that because <laughs> one of us has to be. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so it's hard. It's, and then you think you're doing it wrong, and you're like, am I doing it wrong? And then you go read a, you know, a parenting article, and they're like, you have to teach your children. Have kind hands. I tell Xander that. I'm like, um, push his hands down. We, have, we yeah. use nice hands. We use nice hands. We use nice hands. And he's like, yeah. open palm smacks me in the face. I'm like, okay. So, actually, you want to throw down right now. Yeah. Cause so mama will tussle. let's box up. Yeah. Like, let's go. Mama will go rounds with you, buddy. <clears throat> uh, what you don't know is where you got that fire from is me. Yep. You might look like your daddy, but you, you act like mommy. Right. So, oh man. Let's go, bud. Yeah. Uh, obviously he's not quite old enough to understand. So uh, let's talk about something interesting in the aspect of disciplining. And so we had, uh, an in not an incident, we were at a, my father-in-law's birthday dinner the other night. And before we walked in to the restaurant, I said, Jet, you're going to be on your best behavior or you're not going to get ice cream. And he's like, okay. And, you know, what can you expect having three kids at a restaurant with mm-hmm. my sister-in-law was there with her kids and, you know, just lots of people. Yeah. Um. So we sit down and... Jet's coloring, and then my niece Sawyer gets there, and you know we we're all getting situated, and um, 
Sawyer was like playing on the stair area. And Jet was like, I want to go play with Sawyer. And I was like, well, no, you're going to sit down in color. I told you you're going to sit your bottom down this entire dinner. So you're going to sit here. But I want to play with Sawyer. I want to play with Sawyer. I want to play with Sawyer. And I'm like, if Sawyer's mommy is letting her do that, that's her mommy's decision. Mm -hmm. But your daddy and I told you, you're going to sit here. We can color. You can keep whining. But I'm not changing my mind on it. Yep. And I mean, Sawyer, she's a little stinker. She came and like, Jenny, look at me playing. Uh. And I mean, there was no reason that he couldn't have gone and played. Sawyer wasn't causing yeah. chaos, doing anything wrong. Other than the fact that we told him, you are going to sit here and you are going to be a good boy for this dinner. At one point, he was like, I don't even care. I don't want ice cream. I just want to play. And I'm uh, like, poor buddy. I'm like, you're going to sit down. And you got to stick to your gun sometimes. You do. And that, that is one thing that I will say. Advice, always be persistent. If you say something, you got to stick with it, even if it's stupid just like that. Because I'm like, yeah. no. But then it's also, I want to know that if, if that restaurant were crowded, that Danielle wouldn't have let Sawyer be doing that because she was in like a walkway area. Mm -hmm. But if that restaurant were crowded and it was just me, Jet, you know, my five, um, and Jet wanted to go do that, like, but you let me do it last time. Well, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to sit here like a family and enjoy Pops' birthday. Yep. And I'm sorry, but off limits. And and that that is hard in parenting sometimes whenever you're like, I mean, you'll see the, you make a decision, then this kid gets to do it. And, you know, that's just at four, at 12, yeah. man. Whoo, Kenzie, <laughs> different story. Yeah, and I think one of the good things, too, that you're doing is – you do need to have some consistency. So you want to set those boundaries so that they know when mom says or dad says no, I mean it. Like, I'm not going backwards on yeah. what I said. And uh, I think I've experienced that quite a bit in watching other people be parents of, they say, oh, well, if you don't, I'm just going to use this random example. If you don't clean your room, then, you know, you don't get to have ice cream after dinner. But then they fight and fight and fight and don't clean their room but everybody else is having ice cream and now they're throwing a tipper tantrum because they're not getting ice cream so it's like oh my gosh just give them the freaking ice cream so they stop crying yeah and now you didn't get the room clean they did threw a temper tantrum and still got their way and still got their way so you got two negatives and they see a positive and so now you've like completely negated any power essentially that you would have had exactly previously and I mean, my sweet, wonderful husband, sometimes he, he just lets Jet get away with too much. But I think his, there's, a, there is this like, just like we have that mommy, daddy, or mommy, son bond. There's that daddy, son bond. Cause Brady definitely let Xander. Yeah. Well, and in Justin's defense too, like he's working all day. I'm at home with the kids all day. Mm -hmm. So me having to discipline him looks a lot different because it's an all-day thing like lately i feel guilty not really guilty but um you know i do a lot of work at the house for justin and jet will be like mommy play with me mommy play with me mommy play with me so i've been hey alexa set a timer for 10 minutes jet when the timer goes off i shut my computer off mm -hmm. just, i just gotta get a couple things done yep and for him, now he's learning, like, that kind of scheduling and, time you know, management. time management That's without good. even realizing that he's learning it. That's great. Um, so another thing, which I'm curious your opinion, and, and this will change because you still have many years. <laughs> um, one of Kenzie's friends, I was talking to her at a football game. I was talking to the mom at a football game, and the mom said, well, my daughter doesn't have a cell phone. And I was like, you're amazing. But how? Like, what? Like, because Kinsey's school is a lot different than like a normal school pickup. Yeah. Like, um, it's almost like a, there's multiple campuses. Mm. So I have to get a hold of her after school to let her know kind of where I am. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? Like, 
And they have all these, you know, group chats for the school. And I'm like, man, she's being left out of all of that. But, like, kudos to them because I wish Kinsey didn't have a cell phone. Yeah. Technology consumes kids so much to a point that it's obviously unhealthy. Yeah. But then, I mean, you're scrolling and you're seeing all kinds of stuff. Like, it's just, you know, so when do you think you'll give Xander a phone? I have no idea, honestly. I think that circumstances definitely play a role. So I look back at whenever I was a kid, and I walked to and from school. You need a phone. So I had a phone. Um, But... I didn't have, like, texting capabilities, or I had one of the, like... Do you have a Nokia one where you played Snake? No. Oh, that was my mom. One. My mom had one. Uh, I found it in, like, our... Oh, I'm older than you. I forget. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit... I We had so one well. in our... We had one in our, like, junk drawer um, when I was growing up. And, uh, yeah. It that had, was like, my game. games and stuff. Um, no, my, like, phones I remember being popular as a kid were like the razor the black oh movie, yeah you know before the iphone came out i had the um i had this phone it's called a lotus it was literally a square oh i know what you're talking with about a purple square with like floral print on it and i had the mp3 player on the front that was my first phone um and then i had another i don't even know what i had another little phone and then by the time i was in middle school iphone was yeah. Hot, and so I got my mom's hand-me-down iPhone. Um, but I do think that necessity makes a makes difference. A difference. <clears throat> um, I look at like so. My niece, uh, she'll be eleven in February, which holy cow, and she doesn't have a phone. Yeah. But I look at other people that I know whose kids are six, seven, and have phones, and have phones. Those kids are in school, and mom and dad might want to check in with them throughout the day or yeah. pick up, or I, I don't know what their situations are. I personally personally am not in a hurry to give Xander a phone. Yeah. So when, Especially with the way that the world is When today. we talk about discipline, as a parent, having discipline and being off of your phone, mm-hmm. it's hard. Man. And, like, for us, like, we don't do screen – we don't have, let the kids have our phones. They don't have tablets, nothing. Yeah. They're the babies. And having discipline to check out. Yeah, Xander a, doesn't really. I don't have like games or anything on my phone for Xander. I we used an iPad one time when we were traveling to Missouri in the car. Otherwise, the iPad's been dead the whole time since we got it. We don't use stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Brady actually sent me a video the other day that made me laugh, and it said whenever you tried so hard to not have a tablet, kid, that now you're standing outside in 20 degree weather with your two year old. Um, because they want to be outside so yeah. badly. And I'm like, this is literally Xander. He will point to the door. He wants to go outside. And it's freezing cold and raining. And he wants to be outside. That's Jet. He wants to be outside or he wants to be working. Yeah. He's my working boy. Yeah. So um, technology is crazy. But being disciplined enough for, for us to put the phone down as well. It's hard. I I honestly felt a little ugh, the other day because um, we were playing. And Xander saw my phone on the ground. And, of course, he sees Something that mommy has all the time, so he wants to grab it. Yeah. I don't really care that he is holding on to it because it's a, a thing for him. Yes. Um, but he put the phone up to his ear. Uh-huh. And was, Oakley you know, does that. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Are, are you even old enough to really have Understand. the concept of what that means? And I'm like, Kylie, get they off watch your you. freaking phone. They watch every single thing you And do. so I was much more cognizant from that point of, making sure my phone was down so i was talking to one of my girlfriends the other day and she had told me and somebody might have to fact check me because i don't remember the exact year she told me but i believe it was but between 1950 and today a day in the life in 1950 is hold on i'm probably saying this wrong a day in the life of us today is equivalent to one year's worth of brain capacity things of a person's in 1950. One day. One day is equivalent to a year. And you got to think, I mean, how many things have you looked at on a screen today? How many times has that screen changed? Interesting. Everything's faster. Everything's, I mean, and it's only getting worse. No, You know what I mean? 
Just uh, the fact that they're saying that cartoons like SpongeBob mm -hmm. can, you know, mess with kids' brains and stuff because of how fast paced and it's changing. I mean, we used to have like, you know, Tom and Jerry. Mickey Mouse started out flip books, you know, where it was all and very. I'm letting my son watch Fast and Furious. I mean, that that's you're teaching him good, right? Knowledge. Uh, <laughs> he has started when we go out in the garage uh, on Brady's motorcycles. He'll grab the throttle and say vroom vroom. Oh, how cute! It's hilarious. So cute. But yeah, so a year's worth of stuff in one day. Wow, that's in, that interesting. Yeah, interesting. It's just crazy how much we do without even noticing it. I mean, like it's not even whatever lunchtime and. Mm -hmm. Hardly. And I've already done a hundred things today. Practically, you know, whenever you think about how your brain works. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Yeah. We're, we're doing too much. <laughs> Can we go back to 1950? Man, that'd be something. I can't, I can't imagine a day without a computer. Yeah. Or a phone or, you know. Wow. Um, yeah, that's crazy. So... All right, you got a mom win or mom fail this week? You know, I'm going to go with fail. Okay. So we went to Cabo. Yes. Had a great time. Super thankful Justin made that trip happen for us. It was great. Uh, the week before, on Wednesday, I got an email saying, hey, the school is sick. Lots of kids are mm. sick. These are the germs. These are the things. And Thursday was supposed to be my, like, packing, get stuff done day. Yeah. Well, I was like, you know what? I don't want to take a chance of our babies getting sick while we're out of town. I'm just going to keep them home from school. Yeah. So I just did everything with the babies and, yeah. you know, whatever. We leave Friday. They're with my mom the first two days. And then on Sunday, my mother-in-law gets them. Um, then by Monday, uh, they were all... My sister-in-law and my, my in-laws were out with all the kids um, preparing for Thanksgiving at the lake house. And uh, my mother-in-law texts me and she's like, I'm so excited. Jet and Oakley are having a sleepover. And they were like sleeping in the, the you know, queen bed together. Yeah. And she was like, I've been looking forward to this for so long. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. They're best friends. It's so great. Or not Jet and Oakley, Jet and Sawyer. Yeah. Well, apparently, so the next morning... Uh, it's our last day there. The next morning, um, my sister-in-law texts me, and she's like, hey, I just want to let you know, Jet woke up in the middle of the night last night and threw up on Sawyer. Oh, no. Now Oakley's throwing up, and I'm like, no. So like, Oh, man, everything that you did. Everything that I did. I'm like, mom failed. I got sick while we were out of town, and there's nothing worse than knowing that your oh, baby is sick when you're not there to it comfort them. It happens every time. And, oh, I felt so bad. The one time, Brayden, I ever went out of town without Xander, I went to Broken Bow for a weekend. Yeah. And while we were there, Brady's mom calls us. Xander has a fever. She takes him to the doctor. He has a freaking ear infection. I'm like, of all the time, like, of all the times. Yeah, always. That's how it works. Never fails. Never fails. But, yeah, so they were both sick. And then by the time we got back, everyone was better. So I was like, well, thank you, Jesus, they're healed. And thank you, Jesus, I didn't have to clean up the throat, but I still feel bad. <laughs> But do you have a mom? Uh, Mine is a fail. Uh, so we were over at a friend's house the other night, and they have one of those little balance bikes that has the four wheels on it. But, yeah. But, you yeah. know, they're close together. And I thought, oh, Xander's getting a balance bike for his birthday. And so I wonder I wonder how he'll do. Because he was, like, trying to get on it. Yeah. But he couldn't figure it out. So I set it up, and I set him on it, and I just let him go. I just let him go, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> so he's, you know, doing his thing, wiggling along. And all of a sudden, I, like, turn around to say something to Brady. And then I turn back around. And by the time I'm turning around, Xander is, like, tipping at this point. Oh. I'm like, oh, no. And it's, like, I slow can't, yeah, like, I can't, I can't grab him fast enough. Yeah. And, I mean, he smacks that floor. And I was like, mm. I mean, of course, he immediately cried. Yeah. Uh, um. I mean, he hit it pretty hard. Uh, I felt really bad for him. So... Uh, mom fail of just being like, have fun, bye. <laughs> hey, you gotta let him learn. I mean, the I other know, day, Oakley busted her lip, and it was awful. I mean, she was just walking. She tri she trips over her own feet, but she was just walking Sounds and like busted me. her lip, and I was like, I felt terrible, but I was like, I mean, well, she won't do that again. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she probably will, though. Yeah, oh, for sure. And it's the worst. Oh, you know, that's your little so ones funny. Just, oh. But anyway, 
Thank you for tuning in to the MomSense podcast. I'm Cambria. And I'm Kylie.